I've done a biodigester that has been connected to a soak away, the block laid one, and I wanted to show you basically how it was done. We did not construct the soak away, but then it was a source to somebody, some group to do it. And then we came just to do the biodigester and have it connected to the soak away. So in this video, I'm going to show you basically how it was done. When you are constructing a biodigester, at a particular location or on site you have options you have three options you have the so-called pit option whereby you bury the wastewater line and then you put stones and everything in it and then you cover it with a rubber carpet or a black polythene bag and then the second option is to have a soak away done whereby you have the top cover done for it everything and then the wastewater goes there and then it seeps slowly into the ground or onto the earth surface depending on whatever type of soil you are meeting there and then there's the third option whereby you can simply have it connected to a donate system or a wastewater causeway or a gutter which one is available to you and then the wastewater seeps through after the filtration everything has been done the wastewater seeps through and then it goes into the gutter So the first thing that we did was to get the measurement right in terms of the pipes that are coming in as the usual thing that we always do have the gradient sorted out and then have all the settings right and then in this particular case there was the need to have two pipes that are coming into the digester because there was a toilet seat at the other end of the building and then there was another toilet seat at the other side of the building as well so then we have to do two pipes inlet two inlet pipes and then one outlet that will be going into the septic system so basically just like i've explained just like in other videos i've shown you how to the step-by-step -step guide that you need to construct a biodigester you follow these particular steps and then you have your digging done you have your settings done and then if you are using the precast slabs you do have them erected or if you are laying blocks then you have it done nicely and then you leave the leche pipe outlet and then you have the four inch pipe or three inch pipe depending on which one is available to you you have it laid all the way to the soak away after you doing the filtration and doing your biodigester bedding and porous and everything then you have it connected into the soak away the idea behind this is that you have options like having it connected to a drainage system or a gutter or having a soak hole pit done for it but if you decide to do the soak away like i've also said in other videos then it gives you a better longer span a better warranty a better longer lasting use of the biodigester the main reason has also been that because the soak away is said that you have laid blocks and then there's a top cover for it you can have the water pumped out in a worst case scenario if it's not draining into the earth surface or if there's an issue you can always have access to the soak away but let's say you do have a soak hole pit done and there are stones laid in it and after construction and there's a problem you cannot have access to it because it's possible you might have done other works there you might have done pavement there you might have done other works there like tiling and everything and then you cannot have access to the soak hole that you have done so that's why most of the time it's recommended that you have a soak away done for a longer use of a bio digester so in this particular case the clients understood it and then they agreed to have a soak away done and then the connection has been done into it this water can be filtered it can be used for other purposes or it can be allowed to just seep into the ground surface if there's an issue later it can always be assessed and then works can be done on it so basically that's how you go about constructing a biodigester and having it connected to a soak away the next video showing you on the channel will explain to you how biodigesters work and how they are helping homeowners in terms of their wastewater management and giving them a better option when it comes to their toilet or human waste management issues.